So, uh, I messed up and the audio for the recording today came out scuffed. So I have to re-record this on stream. I already did my summoning and didn't get Melison. I got my MP3 Percival and I'm happy because you can pull Melison off a of GSSR. After MP3, you don't have to worry about bonding a, serv a permanent servant to an obscene level just to help them farm better. Yeah, I, I, it's not like I haven't touched on that before, but Percival is here. He's permanent. He is literally one of the best arts uh, looping servants in the game. And his kit is not even fully catered to towards it. It is literally just like Musashi, at, at, yeah, except he actually has a battery. Musashi doesn't, uh, but they are both infamous for being like some of the best farmers in the game. So let's check under the hood for Percival. Also, look at the chests on this guy. It is bulging out. Like, I think it's just how, how the art was. Uh, who else? What other servants? Percival is their only one? Oh, but they did versus. That's a long time ago. Holy shit. Like, yeah, they're in their work on this game. Like, it's not consistent, but it's like good. Like, these are some good C good artwork CEs. So artwork looks good. <laughs> yeah, that's that that looks about right for Rio. Uh base attack is low-ish, but not like low low. Like it, it's no 8,000 like we see on casters, but it's not the highest either. HP, you kind of don't care with him. He's either gonna be like so well protected he doesn't take damage or like any chip damage that comes to either him or his supports really don't have to worry about it star weight star gen these are normal lancer numbers this is only slightly lower like literally less than a percent like slightly higher than a percent lower than what the normal is so don't worry about it it's not actually gonna affect anything compared to another lancer i mean mp charge 0.64 he is known for looping like ridiculously easily. You would think this number would be higher. No, this is all he really needs because he hits overkill really quickly. His supports let him hit that overkill very quickly. Deck. Oh, also should note here, MP charge 4%. I'm pretty sure this is like normal for Lancers, but for him in particular, let's just check Ellie real quick. Yeah, Lancers is 4 for him in particular, because of one of his skills, uh, he wants to get hit. And if he gets hit, he's going to gen so much MP. Uh, I think Leonidas actually has the same skill or same type of skill. He wants the same purpose. Yeah, uh, no, he is like he has this in the conditional, but it were it functions pretty much the same way. So we'll get onto that in a second. Three hits on the quick card, two hits on the arts. This is a pain point, but it, it, it he gets MP gen from like so many different sources. Like it's not face card damage you're really worried about. Like whenever he doesn't refund from his MP, he'll get from his supports or like literally just getting hit. Obviously in farming, you're not gonna get hit. So it's mostly like extra battery your supports have. But again, depending on how good your personal is, you can start from zero and just pop all Castor's skills and it'll loop. 100% every single time, even with like some type neutral stuff. First skill, this is where the magic happens. This is a mana burst plus a battery on a six turn cooldown. Honestly, this could be a seven and still make sense. 30% arts buff, which affects all parts of the looping, the hitting overkill, actual refund. Awesome. It's good that this is 30%. 20% battery helps him start from zero. It means two Castoria batteries, uh, like the 20%. Oh, wait, let me do the math right. No, it means two AOE Castoria batteries you can use, and then you can put one 20% on him, one on another Castoria. Boom, two Castorias are MPing as long as that other Castoria has the man, uh, mana loading. And yeah, that actually does affect his looping because. Scales well off attack because he doesn't have an 
in this kit is going to multiply really well with this MP damage here. Now, it's only 20%, but you got to remember, the only art support that gives MP damage is Tomomo, and how often are you using Tomomo in farming? I'm more likely to use Asclepius, Paracelsus, or Zufu more than Tomomo when I'm farming. Because it's just like extra costs for like helping get overkill. Like it's Tomomo's get overkill for skill one and loop better for skill three. Her MP doesn't really affect looping because uh, you need to kill stuff for a looping and Tomomo needs you to not kill something. Second skill. Oh, right. So again, this is on a six turn cooldown, but this is kind of the only, if you only need a farmer, this is the only skill you need to level. That is why like Percival is like such a good budget option compared to like Vitra, compared to Melt, uh, compared to like all his competition, because all of them require like high skill investment. Uh, right here, Lancers. Ryoma can't even do Black Rail. But his damage is like close to black roll damage, which is which is impressive. Uh, Ritra. Only hitting, what is that, 17,000 higher as a five star? I guess the, this damage is lower than everyone but Melt. But not, oh, sorry. Not so low that it's like actually going to matter. Like, yes, Fionn hits 3000 damage higher than Percival. Uh, just give Percival some like rails, get him to 90 and then this isn't an issue. So yes, other servants have more turn three damage than him, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. He does good damage. He doesn't require investment. You don't need max out. You don't need three skills maxed out to hit his max damage. You just need this skill. Second skill, three turn taunt to himself. It is like, um, I don't see this ever failing. Like these, this is uh such high numbers, like 500% chance to draw attention to all enemies. That basically means no matter what you do, he's getting this. I think like unless you're debuff immune, I don't I don't think debuff immune would negate a taunt like this when it's self taunt. Uh so 300 percent this is important because if any other servant has a taunt on them, uh if it's a lower percentage than 300, then they uh Percival will get hit. If it is higher, then Percival will not get hit. So just be aware of like what other taunters uh you have that might come in. Uh so your Georges. Uh, pretty much anyone else that you use, that you'd use that uh, has taunts. Uh, MP gen rate when taking attacks for three turns, fifty percent. So at level one, this is higher than all of the Avenger passives. All of the Avenger passives are like twenty percent at most. Yes, they have a higher base number. But when this goes to 50%, who cares? You are getting so much MP gen per hit. Like, think about it. Like, this buffs it up by 50%. He gets hit 4% every time he gets hit. If he gets hit five times, he, that's 30 MP gen. That's 30% of his MP back from one enemy attacking. <laughs> he is very good for fighting servant for fighting modern servants. Against older servants with dog shit hit counts, he will be lacking in his regen but like against modern servants he is, he is literally built anti-modern servant if you are a good servant he is a bad enemy to fight third skill targeted invo for one turn and gives them a heal 2k uh this is fine most invos around this duration it's not egregious but it's not it's not going to be like amazing could they like buff this probably they could slap on like 20 percent attack and then call it a day with him uh i don't even think they need to buff his mp like the, i think fion has a buffed mp and he like he's barely he only competes on turn three but like that's also like he doesn't have a card buff that's that's the other thing with fion like he is not looping to 100 your your refund better be on point 
your refund uh, usage better be on point if you're looping with Theon. I know I keep I'm um, keep scatterbraining, but like trust me, first of all is like the best. He is the he is one like the best, if not one of the best, if not the best. 18.5% debuff resistance, 7% quick performance. A pen skills, he has anti-lancer. I believe that's because of Melison. 20% MP battery uh, for mana loading. This is what you should do. If you have any high copies of him, I have MP3. I have to get him to bond six for him to be able to get this. But then he is definitely starting. You probably can already start from zero. He, more likely than not, he could start from zero right now. But like this is just gonna make it super cozy to the point that like it, again if you have this skill maxed out you have this skill maxed out you're starting with 40 percent that means if your other two castorias have mana loading uh you can pop all three of their mps on turn one and he just loops with an extra what is that 60 percent attack for the entire farm yes it slows it down and yes, you actually would, because of how his MP works, you actually would want to save that for wave three. Maybe not both of them. Like, yeah, let's already get to it. MP. It is different from the one you use in the story. I'm not going to be talking about the ones from the story. Yes, it's cool that they have these other skills, but that's, you can't use them. You only use them once in Avalon. So, four hit AoE arts which is an improvement. I don't think, I think all of these other th servants are three hits. I'm like 90% all of these other servants are three hits and he's the only four hit. And it shows with how well he refunds. The three hits need Castoria 30% to get back to looping. He, again, he doesn't need it. He doesn't need it most of the time. Damage to all enemies, smart healing. What this mean though, ally with the lowest HP relative to their max HP, it means it goes off percentage. A servant that is in the red, but they're at 33% uh, and they have like super high HP uh, over a servant that is like much lower HP. I, I, let me you know what easiest way to do this is King Protea. King Protea, when she has 50,000 HP, if she is at 1%, meaning she has 500 HP, she will get healed. So as you, and you bring that back even further, she is at 10%, so she's at 5,000. If you have a servant that is lower than 5,000, say they're at 3,000 HP. King Protea, because her HP is so high, her HP percentage is super, super low. So she'd get healing even though King Protea most of the time doesn't need healing. Like, if your King Protea is at like 5,000 HP, what the fuck are you actually doing? Like, how, what, are you bringing her to fight a pretender? Are you bringing, are you actually bringing King Protea to fight a pretender? Cause that's one of the only reasons I ever see, would ever think King Protea gets that low or a Berserker. It's either one of those two. Uh, I got off track. Anyway, smart healing run, goes off percentage, not by who actually has the lowest HP. That's the uh, short version. His overcharge scales with MP damage, meaning the turn you need more damage, pop Castorias before this, and your MP, besides just the attack buff, will just do more MP damage, which will multiply very, very well with Castorias base 30% MP uh, attack buff. Ascension mods, these these suck. I'm, I'm gonna be real. Pers my personal is not gonna be that good for a while because of these uh, these two. Mo mostly this. Pen skills, you need eggs. These aren't the worst thing though. Uh, this this sucks though. Luckily, again, you only need to level one skill if you need them performing. Just the one skill. Very cost effective that way, because 24 medals, 36 proofs, 
sounds a hell of a lot better than 72 of these and 108 right uh, one sounds significantly less tedious but also remember neurofest we get both of these maths so as long as you do neurofest you're gonna be good Bond levels, arts buff, MP damage, up 10% each, which again, that's how his farming works. That is how the farming works for him. I cannot stress how good Percival is, even at lower copies. He might not be out damaging your established farmers, your summer, your MP5 melts, your super high fions your vitras or Ritra. but like oh my god he's he is a four star you don't need double cast array with him it helps but you don't need it so he's good for like trying to farm up bond uh punt bond points for like servants in the back line his design just looks good and from what I'm told, he is the goat. Like, he is one of the goats in Lost Belt 6. So, should you summon for Percival? He's permanent, but he's on the same banner with Melison. So, if you're already summoning for Melison, any Percivals you get, you will be happy with. Because, unlike Melison, you just need to. Sometimes you don't even need your own Castoria. You just need your friend. And that's why, like, he is just, like, one of the best servants you can pick up from just these banners. It's him and Ku. But even compared to Ku, like, he is lower investment. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, comment, sub, all that good YouTube stuff. I'm putting this at the end of the video because I'm really bad about selling out mid-video. So, thank you for watching.